Hood's Vitality Restaurant Group and local officials gathered at the Davidson Community Center to distribute relief funds to the survivors of the Twin Park Fire. We are here today showing support to the victims of the 181st Street uh, Fire. Through generous donations from local supermarkets and bodega owners, along with matched contributions from the Oyate Group, they raised $100,000 for the displaced families to meet their everyday needs. The Hospitality Restaurant Group had risen to the challenge in a time of need. Within the first 12 hours of the fire, the group worked overnight to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 450 residents. The president of the group, Junior Martinez, knew that it was crucial to give back to the people that supported their business. As community merchants well, and leaders funny. here, we wanted to show the support that, that they show well, us when they funny. come into our small businesses uh, and keep our day-to-day -day going. While the distributed funds will help families purchase basic necessities, many residents are unsure where they will live in the coming months. Cookie Dennis was a resident at Twin Park for 27 years and survived the fire by ripping open a window screen. Dennis refuses to go back to Twin Park due to fear and violations within the building that still exists. Now she is worried about her future living space. Can't go back, you know, so I'm just praying that I get some place um, to live soon because we're in a hotel right now. Looking towards the future, Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson plans to assist residents emotionally through counseling services. Gibson is also serious about working with landlords to fix the locks on automatic doors and ensure landlords provide adequate heating so that no residents have to resort to using space heaters. If we don't deal with that and, and learn from this tragedy and use it as a purposeful moment, then we are just a recipe for disaster for the next tragedy. As funds are dispersed, residents are pleading with elected officials and agencies to make sure something like this never happens again. Reporting for BronxNet, Brittany Schuyler-Albain.